Welcome to another episode. Today we're doing electrical and specifically we're going to be changing four different light switches around the house. So here are the things we're going to be installing today. We have a timer to control the outside light. We have a timer to control a fan in the bathroom. We have a motion sensor and then we have a dimmer. This is a very simple project that anyone can do at their home, whether you're a first time homeowner or you've been thinking about changing your light switches for a while. This is definitely a project that you can do yourself. So let's get the tools and let's get started. So our first project is gonna to be to change this switch by a dimmer switch. First thing we need to do is make sure to turn off the power at the breaker. Next, we'll start by simply removing the faceplate. We need to remove the actual switch from the wall. We pulled everything out, we have the uh, black wires, the white wires, the neutral wires, as well as the copper um, ground wires inside there. And here we can see that we have four wires. So the green wire will be the one that's going to be connecting to the ground. And then the other three, since this uh, particular dimmer can be either a one-way or a three-way, meaning that it can either connect uh, control one, uh, let's say one lamp from one location, or if it's a three-way, you can, you can have multiple switches controlling the same lamp. So in this case, since it's only one place that we can turn on and turn off the light, we're not gonna be using the three-way wire. And in our case, this would be the three-way wire. So we're just gonna isolate it after. And here we have two wires left. We have the black and the red. Um, often the black one would be the one that would be connected to the hot wire of the house. Uh, this would be the hot wire that's directly connected to the panel in the electrical room and the red one would go to the load. The load would be the one going to the light itself. Uh, in this case, for this specific model, these two wires can be um, connected interchangeably. So this could be load, this could be hot, or this could be hot, this could be load. So it doesn't really matter. So what we need to do simply is just remove these two wires here and then swipe them for these two wires instead. So let's just disconnect them here. First thing we're going to do is connect the ground to the ground cable in the back there of the box. I know it's a bit difficult to, to see, so I'll probably do this in another video, but I'll just connect it now to make things a bit easier. I managed to connect the ground wire to the back of the box there. Now the next thing we want to do is simply connect the red and the black. Now in this case, as I mentioned, they're interchangeable. So we simply connect one of the wire, wires to the black. and the other red one. And let's just make sure they're nice and snug. And then this one, because we're not using it, I'll just put a, a blue cap here so that we know that it's not used. And that's pretty much it. Now all we need to do is simply Put the cables back in the box. Now we have all the wires inside. All we need to do is simply push the new switch inside the box and then secure it with two screws. And now we're ready to put the cover plate. First switch is complete. Let's move on to the second one. The second switch we're gonna change is this one here, which is which controls the light outside, we're gonna put a timer so that the light outside can turn on and off based on the time that we set here. Okay, so let's remove the, the whole panel here. I already disconnected the breaker at the panel, so let's just remove this switch here. The new switch that we're gonna be installing also has five wires very similar to what we just saw with the dimmer the difference here is that we do have a neutral wire so the white wire that will have to connect to the neutral wire there and here it, the green one as we saw goes into the ground and then so the the three wires that are remaining uh, this uh, this timer here you can use it as a, a one way or three way switch we're only using it as a single pole switch, so one way or one switch to turn off the light. So we're going to ignore this one here. It even says that if you read the label, it says that it's basically for a three-way switch only. So we're going to leave it like that. And then we're going to be left with the black and the red. 
For this one specifically, the black has to be connected to the hot wire. So we'll have to determine which of these is the hot wire. The hot wire is the one that's supplying the electricity. And then the red one will go to the load. The load is the one that will be connected to the, to the actual light outside. So now in order to know which one of these is the hot and which one is the load, uh, we're going to use this device. I'm going to turn back the power on at the breaker switch and then we'll be able to simply touch these two wires and the wire that makes the sound will be the hot one. Okay, so now we can take the voltage tester and we simply, when we approach the, wi the wire, as you see, we, we have a sound and a light. That means that this wire is the hot one and the other one is not. So this is the wire that we'll use to connect to, to the black wire of this switch and the red one will be connecting to the other one. And we can see that now there's no power, there's no sound. So this is a, a great way to know if it's safe to work with these wires. So this will be the hot, this will be the load. And to get to the white wire, I actually have to remove temporarily this switch because the white wire, the neutral wire is behind. So now that we have all the switches off, we can access the white cable, the neutral. Let's start connecting everything to the wall. I'll start by connecting the ground first. This was the hot wire, so we're going to remove this and connect it to the black wire of the timer. This was the load wire. We're going to connect it to the uh, red one of the new switch. Okay, so everything's good. The last one to go is the neutral white to white here. Okay, good. So just make sure everything's good. Everything's tight and snug. Nothing's coming out easily. And now we're ready to put everything back in place. This one, as I mentioned, we're going to leave it as is because we don't need to use the three-way switch. So now that we're done with putting the switches back, I will use a bit of touch-up paint to cover this area here, then we'll be able to put bolt cover on and move on to the next switch. On to our third switch. Here we're going to be changing this bathroom fan switch by this timer, which will enable us to leave the fan on for different periods of time and then have the fan turn off by itself. So the thing, first thing is that we are going to disconnect the power of the panel, which I already did. Now we can remove the switch. And here we have two wires. One of them is hot, the other one is the load. I don't know which one, so we're gonna use voltage tester to see which one of them is the hot and the load. And then go in the new timer. We have here five different wires. The, this is a, just a single pole, so we're going to ignore this yellow one because this one would be for a three-way switch. Green for the ground. We have the wire for the neutral, and then we have the, these two, the red and the black. The black would go to the hot, red would go to the load, but first we need to find out which one, of, which one of these wires is the hot one. So I'll go back to the electrical panel, turn on the switch, and then we'll test it with this. And using the tester, we know that this one would be the load, this one would be the hot. We've disconnected the power again. We see that there is no current going in the wires and now we can safely disconnect. So we have the hot, the neutral load and we can start connecting everything together. First, we'll do the ground. Here we have the ground connected to the box itself. The red one goes to the load. So the load is the one that's actually connected to the fan itself. The black goes to the hot. And finally, the white goes to the neutral. The yellow will leave it as. Okay, so just make sure that all the wires are nice and snug and nothing comes out. When we pull on them, everything's good. 
And so that's it. Now all we need to do is just put the wires back inside and reconnect the boxes. Everything's good to go here. We can just put back the wall plate and we're done. Okay, so we're down to the last switch. Uh, here we're going to be changing this switch to a motion detector switch like this. So that way when you walk into the room, the lights turn on by itself. And then it, when you leave, the light turns off after a couple of minutes. So currently we're in the electrical room. That's why it's a bit dark already. Turn off the power and that's why we also don't have any uh, light here. So, but this should be pretty quickly, pretty simple to do. So let's get started. For the motion detector, for the motion uh, sensor, we have two. So we have a ground wire again. This one is going to be a, a white wire connecting to the neutral. And then the two black wires, the load and the hot wire can be used interchangeably. So we don't need to necessarily check here which one is the hot, which one is the load. So the first thing we're gonna do is connect the ground. So we see here that the ground is connected to the screw here in the back. Everything's good. Let's just connect the other three wires. Okay, let's connect the first black to black, second black, and finally the neutral one. Okay, make sure all the cables are nice, tight, snug. It's just a bit loose here, then. And we're ready to put back everything in the box. Everything's in place. The last thing to do is simply just put the wall cover. And this wraps up the overall project. I think this is definitely something that anyone can do themselves. Just take your time. Go slowly, make sure you don't mess up the wires. I invite you to check some of my other videos and I will see you next time.